Ooh, hold on guys, guys. Look at this. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Another one. A freaking safe. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, guys. And today we bought two storage units, but the video's gonna have to be a little bit different. So unfortunately, they sold like 19 units, so the whole place was packed with tons of people cleaning it out. And plus, they also had loud music blasting up top. So there was no way you could hear the audio over me. So what we did is just took all the boxes home, all the totes home, and brought them all here. We're gonna go through everything here. And let me tell you, it looks amazing. Let's go through the first thing. The reason I chose this box first is because look what was beautifully waiting in the box for me. A freaking safe just waiting. The issue is it's actually locked. And it looks like it's supposed to be an electronic safe. And the electronic part of it does not seem to be working at all. So I think that's a keyhole. If not, I don't know what we're going to be able to do to it. But listen, there's definitely something in here. And I don't know how to get into it. And whatever's in there does not sound like paper. It sounds like metal or plastic. So I want to try to avoid smashing it with a sledgehammer like we did before as much as possible. But who knows what could be in there. That could be money, jewelry, all kinds of things. So maybe somewhere in here I'll come across the key. I don't know. A bunch of books, but look at this. A brand new accounting book that's still in the paper. I'm in college. These are not cheap. If this is a relevant book i mean it could be worth a hundred dollars or more i mean i know i paid over two hundred dollars for certain books so no telling what that's worth and it looks like it has a little access code in the back which will make it more expensive what is all this just a bunch of more books i'm just gonna throw it to the side for now and just trash honestly or donations at least Ooh, that's a nike air force box and it's empty or there's no shoes in it but there's Reeboks in it Controlled. A Reebok box and an Air Force box. That would have been nice. What size are these two? Eight and a half. Never mind, they ain't gonna fit me. I if they were in there. A quarter! We found cash again! <laughs> so first thing first, what is this? Two in one music jam play mat? We found something similar to this in five below before, haven't we? I think they're just drums though, but that's kinda cool. If it works, I don't know if it works. Ooh, hold on guys, guys, look at this. Do you see that? Do you see that? I can zoom it in, hold on. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh yes, my God. I, I see the butt of something. <laughs> Don't troll me, please. That's, that's a BB gun. Ah, damn. That would have been awesome, but still. Let's see, hold on. It even has the orange piece missing off the tip. Somebody probably used this in like a robbery or something. But it's a Powerline Daisy 340 feet per second BB gun. It has BBs in it. Let's try it. I'm just going to shoot at the box. I'm going to shoot the box. It works. It works. That's kind of cool. I mean, I probably won't sell this. I like keeping guns. They're fun. Even if they are just BB guns. Oh. There we go. The mag, I didn't expect the mag at least to actually be at the same place like on a real one. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put that up here. That's going in my pile. <laughs> Another iron. Didn't we just find an iron in the last one too? Yep. A Black, Black and Decker too. The last one was Black and Decker too. This is weird. Now we just got to find a bunch of weed and you know what? They might be owned by the same person. I'm going to keep this pistol holster up here too. That's pretty nice. Hey! A whole thing of metal BBs. 6,000 copperhead BBs. I thought this was... Does this take metal or plastic? They look like it was a plastic BB that came out of it. These are plastic. I guess maybe it could take both. I don't know, but 6,000 BBs and a BB gun. You know what? I'm happy right there. Hey, a scratch off. It's a $1 winner. There it is. Big money right there. How old is this sucker? It's got to be cashed in Maryland anyway. I'm not going back to Maryland for a dollar. <laughs> All right, guys, got the next box, but before we get into it, two like wicker looking hats. They're right on top. This one, I mean, they both look new. This one, oh, there's three actually. One of them has the tag, so it's brand new. This one, only a five buck price tag on it, but still, brand new hats. That's cool. Ugh. 
Yay, clothes. Ooh, a purse. A heavy purse. Ooh, that's a really nice purse, too. This leather's thick. Very thick. I wonder if it has a brand name on it. Not that I see. But it's a really nice purse. Let's see if we got anything in it, though. It is... It's got to have something. It's heavy. And it's full of makeup. Joy. Not something I'm too interested in, unfortunately. But, I mean, see if you can see in there. It is just absolutely loaded with makeup, nail polish, and things like that. And half of it's probably been used, so it might have to go in the trash. I don't know. But even if it all does, that's perfectly fine because, honestly, this purse is really nice. Like, it's really thick leather. That thing's got to be worth some money. I don't see a brand name on it, though. Let's see if there's anything else interesting. What is that? Bottle. Number certification of hand bottling? What is this? Tequila? A tequila bottle? What is it called? Silver Patron? I'm just so not a drinker at all. Like I, Nothing about alcohol interests me. Let's see if it smells like it's been used or if it's just like manufactured just for design. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the smell of alcohol, I'm telling you, like, drank one real time in my life and that was all it took. And ever since then, even the smell of it makes me sick. Alright guys, let's keep going. Looks like we got, I don't even know, a scarf? Some blanket? I don't know. Nothing I have interest in. Soap. Ooh, that might be something I do. These look like jewelry of some kind. They're Stacy Adams earrings. Look at that. I don't know if those are actual silver or they're just like costume type earrings. I'm not really sure. They're cufflinks. What are cufflinks? They go on like the end of an arm of a dress suit to keep the cuffs together. Oh, that's not much I know. Fancy people wear. <laughs> I'm not fancy, guys. I dig in trash. But they look like earrings to me. <laughs> hey, some bod. I haven't seen this stuff in a while. This is what you used to get, what you get all your male family members that you don't really care about, but they're still part of your family. <laughs> you get on a deodorant set. <laughs> Random clothes will just be donated, like always. Guys, like the high school I go to, we're pretty close to it. And they have donation bins that they give to like the students and the families that need it. It goes to them directly. I know that's why I use that bin. And like, <laughs> we fill it up so high. It's like completely stacked, like every week. These are actually 42 by 32. These are my size. I might keep these. <laughs> these are Levi's too. Nice pair of jeans. Thank you. <laughs> And we got a nice looking coat actually. This is a special police protective services. What? 2XL too, so it's big. It could fit me. But I wonder if this has a cop. A cop with a BB gun. <laughs> Instead of a real gun. Oh. Better not find more weed, I swear. I'm tired of the weed, guys. Yes, if you smoke, congratulations, good for you. But it's still illegal here. I don't. I don't want to get caught with it. Ooh, look at the shoes. LeBron. They're LeBrons too? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. It'd be nice if they're size 13. We could just throw them all in a huge lot with the other ones. These are size 12. One size below, but they actually don't look half bad. I mean, I, not something I would wear. I like black and white shoes or black and red. That's my color combination. But those are actually decent shoes. And... Given the fact that they're Nikes and LeBrons, I bet you they're not cheap either. I see more Nikes. Definitely not something I want to wear again. Ooh, I'd wear those. These? If I find, yeah, if I find something magic, they're LeBrons too. Are they? Yep. These look new. That honestly. symbol, look on the tongue. It's symbols LeBrons. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. And size 12 as well. Two nice pair of shoes. And this unit, this is the cheaper one. This one only costs us 10 bucks. So, two pairs of LeBrons, that pays for the unit right there. Look at these, a pair of Converse, old Chucks. All red Chucks too, like thick. Are they size 12 as well? They are, my brother might wear these. He likes Chucks too. And I think he's size 12, so look at that. Shoes are just, like when you see good brand name shoes, you just know like, you're saved. They're just such, such easy sales. And there's another pair of shoes in here, dress shoes. Can we get some more salvage? Money! <laughs> is this dress shoe loaded with money? Hold up. Jeez. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. 
why? <laughs> There's like at least five quarters in here. Over a dollar. I'll take it. What brand are these? <laughs> they actually are. Salvatore. I'm not, I say it every time. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but look at that. But these gotta be men's. Every other pair we found have been women's, I think. Yeah. Look at all this change. Where's the other one? Look at that. I mean, these are expensive brand of shoes. I bet you these get another 30, 40 bucks easy. Ugly in my opinion, but yeah, that's most, a side point. <laughs> most dress shoes are. I'm not a dress person. If it's the summer or it's hot out, shorts and t-shirt. If it's the winter, jeans, jacket. That's it. That's all I wear. And a t-shirt, yeah. <laughs> And we got the Washington Post. I wonder if it's like a special one. Let's see. I mean, it's gotta be a reason you'd store this. They wrap money in it. Oh man, that'd be godly. Oh, this is when the um, Capitals won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Everyone in this area, by the way, if you're not from our area, the DC area, nobody gave a rat's ass about hockey <laughs> at all for years and years. And now that the Capitals won, all of a sudden everyone's like the biggest hockey fanatic on the face of the earth when before nobody cared at all. Alright guys, next thing, it looks like this whole trash... Ooh, hold on, I was about to say all paperwork, but that's a Blackhawk, I think this is the Blackhawk pistol holster. We already done found the other one, where's... The... Okay, there it is, Blackhawk, it's just a Blackhawk. And that's a nice holster. I mean, the holsters are not cheap for those of you guys that aren't like don't own guns or anything like that. They're not cheap. Even that other cheap one we found over there is probably 10 to 15 bucks at Walmart. That's a legit one right there. I mean, that's a really good holster. It's even got a click on it. See, that's really nice. That's the one that goes like on your like slides through your belt. That's what it looks like. Yeah. I mean, it said police on the jacket. So, so maybe. Oh, what if there is a real pistol in here? That would blow my mind. Like that's one of my last storage unit find dreams. Like I wanted to find money, we found it. I wanted to find a find a safe, we found it. We don't know if it's a good one, but we found a safe. And I want to find a gun. Like I'm a gun collector, not like a huge one, but I love guns. I really do. Those are nice shorts. What size are these? XL, please. Nike. XL. I got a pair of jeans and a nice pair of shorts. I like the way this is going. Nike shorts are freaking probably thirty dollars a piece too. So. This printer box has the printer in it, but it looks ancient. Let's pull this out and take a look at it. That is a really old, old looking printer. And I have it upside down. That's not helping. Maybe not. It's got money hidden inside of it. <laughs> but a very old printer and scanner combo. If it's got ink in it, I'll hook it up because it's really annoying having to go somewhere to print stuff. It really is. I don't have a working printer. That's one thing I should have. I don't have. So if that works, that'd be convenient. Ooh. CO2. Ooh, hold on. We got a phone. What kind of phone is this? Is a droid? Uh, will it cut on? No, that's the question. I doubt it. Let's see. It will not. Let me see it. I'm gonna put it on the charger. Yeah, I'll we'll see if it'll charge. It. We have a bunch of these CO2 tanks, which really makes me think of there's more BB guns because if you guys never played the BB guns or owned them as a kid or as an adult still, I'm 24 and I'll go shoot it. Uh, they have CO2 powered ones. You can put the CO2 in it and let you rapid fire it. It makes it really fun. It charges. It charges? Yeah. Awesome. We'll take it to one of those like e-machines in the mall. Some random phones could be worth like 20, 30 bucks. So. One of the very first dump driving video we ever uploaded on this channel. Go back and check it out. It's very cringy and painful. But the very first one we ever uploaded on this channel, we found a Samsung, I think, S8 that didn't work at all in the GameStop dumpster. Put it in the machine, 80 bucks cash. Looks like we have some DVDs in here. Yeah, they're in here. Let's see, Captain America. Yeah. They're all in here, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine DVDs, so that's probably 50 cents a piece four bucks yay more daisy bb's so that's two things of bb's we've done found now that's awesome first thing first we have another pair of nikes that have really seen better days i don't think these are probably worth selling these will probably go to donation those are pretty beat up we have tim's again no we don't we just have some regular these are actually um steel toe these are like mechanic boots or work boots. I mean, these are not cheap. I worked at a car dealership for a year and a half. I didn't have to wear them, but I know the mechanics did. I mean, these are not cheap boots. So that's definitely going to be a keeper. That could be worth some money. Other than that, guys, I mean, are these 
anything? Are these fake? No, these are Nikes. Are these LeBrons? Yes, they are. Another pair of LeBrons. These look like they could be wiped up and clean. They just look like they have dirt and smudge on them. So those will probably be savable. The other pair of shoes. Oh, there's rings on it. Whoa. Whoa. Are these real? Um, let's see. We're going to have to do some looking at these. I mean, look at that. Put that close up to the camera. That is a nice looking ring. If that's real, then that's got to be really valuable. Was there another one? It is, but it's not. It's just a and cheap here's a, thing. Wait, the camera. here's a men's wedding band, it looks like. Definitely going to put that aside. If that's real, then wow. Definitely put that aside. The rest of it's just like toothpicks and combs. Hey! <laughs> some baby Jordans. If they're both in there, I bet you they got to be worth some money, actually. I mean, not obviously not as expensive as, like, adult ones, but I still bet they're worth something. Look at that. Baby J's. Baby Jordans. That's got to be worth some money. Ooh. Those are nice looking shoes too. Mm -hmm. If the other one's in there, what size are these? Ah, uh, where's this side though? Why do Nikes always like, all right, this style we'll put them on the left side, this style we'll put them on the right side. I don't see a size thing anywhere on that. Let's hope we find the other one. More, more little shoes again. There it is. Those are some nice shoes right there. But I do not see a, oh here, it's on this one. These are nine and a halfs, but they're still nice Nike Airs. Some baby Air Forces, Air Maxes. I mean, more babies. <laughs> this baby was tricked out, man. This baby has style, and I'm telling you, this baby has style. There it is. Look at that! Another pair of Nikes. Nikes, like shoes, especially Nikes and Jordans, are just such easy money makers. It's just like finding cash, honestly. All right, guys, so before we get into the last few bags of boxes, did I say bags of boxes? Jeez, <laughs> bags of boxes, this has been a long video. I went through the bag with the paperwork, and look at this, I missed this. This is a Verizon tablet. Now, I don't really know how valuable this one is. It doesn't cut on right now, but hopefully it just takes a regular, it does take a regular Android charger, so we'll plug it up and let you know in the recap if this works. The phone that we found earlier, it works, but the screen's broken, the display is, you can hear it making sounds and everything, so it does work, but it needs a screen replaced, so it's kind of useless to us right now, but let's keep going. All right, now this. Ugh. Hey, another one. Dang it, why can't one of these guns be real? Just one, I mean, BB gun's still real, I guess, but it's not, obviously not a real gun. Let's test it. Shoot the box. Oh, it didn't fire. No, it didn't fire. But it might just be a jammed or something. Yeah, there, there's a BB jam right there. I can see it. Okay, I could, I'll definitely be able to play with this and get that working. That's two BB guns in there. That's pretty sweet. More copperhead BBs. We're at like over, well over 10,000 BBs now. One of the more interesting things that I saw here. Look at this. I thought it was a book, but it's one of these things like you see in like a movie. It's like a safe and it was open with a book in it. So let's see what we got. Hold on. This might go to the safe. Where's the safe at? You see it anywhere? Guys, give me a second. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta find the safe. Let me I see, see this it. goes I to it. it. Guys, it looks like it fits and it turns. You ready? You ready? I'm scared. What's in there? Uh, so this this safe must have been literally brand spanking new. That's what this is. The manual. It probably has the code and stuff in it. The batteries that go in the electric part of it. That's why the electric park wasn't working, and not too sure what these are. But they don't look like anything of value. So, nothing in there, but 
I mean, that's a nice electric safe. I bet you that's not cheap, so it's still make money on the safe itself. I was really hoping there'd be like a Rolex or something in there, but what can you do? That was really long. We're gonna go through everything in detail, go donate the clothes, get rid of the trash, and then we'll do a huge recap and show you everything that we kept. So I will see you then. All right, guys, so let's do a recap of everything we found. Now, before we get into it, remember, we spent only 50 bucks on the two units, 40 on one, 10 on the other. So I think we did absolutely amazing. We did shoe crazy again. Let's start over here. So we got the pair of all red chucks right here. These purple Nike, I think these are LeBrons too. Yet. LeBrons. These are LeBrons. These are LeBrons too as well, aren't they? Yep. Yep. Three pairs of LeBrons, and they'll probably fetch between 40 and 50 bucks a piece. These will. The Chucks maybe 20, so that's already like about 170 bucks. The Salvador dress shoes, which are kind of beat up, so these will probably make about 20 bucks still, because brand new, those shoes are a couple hundred bucks, so that's valuable. These Nikes, these Nikes I actually think look pretty cool too, they would fit me. And definitely something unique I've never seen before. The whole lot of little baby Jordans and Nikes over here. We'll probably just end up listing all these a lot since some of them are in better condition than others. And they are all the same size, I think, minus this one pair. So I think they're all the same size. That'll probably be a big lot on eBay. We ended up finding this in the clothes, a Kansas City Chiefs hat along with a jersey. And I'm pretty 99.9% .9 sure he's still a tight end on the Kansas City Chiefs. So... Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But this is another Nike Athletic NFL jersey with the patch up here. So I'll probably sell the hat and the jersey together as a combo because, I don't know, they go together. The accounting book, haven't looked it up yet. So if anyone can look that up and tell me in the comments, let me know what that's worth. I know I'm taking an accounting class this class, this semester and I had to pay 120 bucks for my accounting book. So hopefully it's somewhere close. We got the steel toe boots here. Not Tim's unfortunately, but they are steel toe, and I know for a fact even the cheap ones are like 60 to 80 bucks new. So on the low end, I think these will fit, fetch 20 to 30 dollars. This safe, even though it was really sad, nothing was in it. It is a still a brand new safe. The electric part does work. Everything in it works. It comes with the manual, the code, and everything. It's just missing the box. So brand new safe. We'll probably still be able to sell it for 20, maybe 30, 40 dollars. I don't really know. We gotta look it up. The black hot pistol holster which is absolutely really amazing i'm not going to sell but it's worth about 30 dollars 35 on some sites i'm keeping this for my own pistol but it's a really nice holster two daisy bb guns how's that feel back there no no <laughs> even though they're just bb guns it's still t intimidating two daisy guns they did troll me i swear i thought these things were real and i looked at them but Still fun, nonetheless, can shoot little plastic cups out of the backyard and stuff. And we got about 10,000 DVs to go with them, so we don't have to pay for any ammo. Lastly, the purse here. Still never emptied it out to look for a brand name yet, but it's a really thick leather purse, so I can't imagine this being any cheaper. I mean, on the low end, 20 bucks maybe. I think it's going to be worth more than that, hopefully, when I look it up, because it feels really thick and really real and genuine. So, once again, guys, I think we killed the storage units two of the cheapest units to win. There was like almost 20 that sold. We got the two cheapest ones just about. And it looks like they delivered big once again. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving, storage units, yard sailing, flea markets maybe, Goodwills, I don't know. All kinds of treasure hunting videos every single day of the week. And if you want to follow us on our social media, links will be on screen. You can click the links down in the description. Follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.